Welcome to the spoken tutorial on creating flowcharts in LibreOffice Draw. In this tutorial, you will learn to draw flowcharts, connect flowcharts using connectors and glue points. This tutorial is recorded using Ubuntu Linux OS version 18.04 and LibreOffice Suite version 6.3.5. To practice this tutorial, you should have Basic knowledge of LibreOffice Draw. If not, for relevant tutorials, please visit this website. I have opened a new draw file. Let us name this file as flowchart and save it on the desktop. Now let us learn to create a flowchart and draw. This flowchart shows all the stages in the spoken tutorial process. Let's go back to the draw page and begin to draw this flowchart. Draw provides a separate option in the drawing toolbar to create flowcharts. From the drawing toolbar, click on the drop down next to the flowchart icon. Select flowchart process option. Place the cursor on the top of the draw page. Press the left mouse button and drag down diagonally towards the right. Then release the mouse button. We have drawn a process box. A process box represents a step or an event in the entire process. We can insert text in the flowchart objects just as we do in other objects. So let's double click on the process box. Type the text, create the tutorial outline to chunk content into 10 minute scripts inside it. Observe that the text has come outside the borders of the process box. Formatting options for flowcharts are also similar to that of other objects. So let's align the text inside the process box. Let's select the text. Right click to view the context menu and click text option. The text dialog box opens up. In the text tab, under custom shape text, Select Resize Shape to Fit Text checkbox. Then click on the OK button at the bottom right. We see that the process box has changed its shape to fit the text. Let us undo this action by pressing the Ctrl and Z keys together. Let's select the text again. Right click for the context menu and select Edit Style option. The graphic style's default dialog box appears. Select text tab if not already selected. Under custom shape text, check the box that says word wrap text in shape. And then uncheck resize shape to fit text checkbox. Click on the OK button at the bottom right to update the changes. The text has now adjusted itself suitably to fit the shape of the process box. In a similar manner, let us now draw another process box beneath the first one. Let us insert the text Create Scripts inside it. Now let's draw a decision box and insert the text Review OK inside it. A decision box represents a decision that has to be made. It directs us to the next process based on the outcome of the decision. Let's now draw another process box beneath the decision box. Let us insert the text record video inside it. Next we need another decision box here with the text review ok. Let's copy the decision box we created before and place it here. Select the decision box and press Ctrl and C keys together to copy. Now press Ctrl and V keys together to paste. Let's move this box below the record video process box. Finally, let's draw a flowchart connector and type A inside it. Now here we will add a new page to the draw file. Right click on the pages pane and select new page from the context menu. A flowchart connector connects two parts of a flowchart. The first part of our flowchart is on page 1. 
and the second part will be on page 2. We drew a flowchart connector at the end of the flowchart on the first page. So we will draw the same connector at the top of page 2 by copy pasting. Observe that the connector is pasted at the same location on page 2 as in page 1. I will drag it to the starting part of page 2. Now let's learn about connector lines and glue points in draw. Connectors are lines or arrows whose ends are docked to an object. Glue points are the points that glue the connectors to the objects. All objects have glue points but they are invisible. They become visible when a connector is selected from the drawing toolbar or when the mouse pointer is moved over an object. Glue points are not the same as handles. We use handles to resize an object. Whereas glue points are used to glue a connector to an object. In the pages pane on the left, click and select page 1. Now let's connect the objects in this flowchart using connectors. On the drawing toolbar, click on the drop down next to connector. We see different types of connectors. Let us select the option straight connector ends with arrow. When we select the connector, we see red circles on all the objects. When we move the cursor to an object, it is highlighted with a dotted outline. A plus sign is also seen on the object. These are the glue points. Now let's draw a connection. From the glue point of the first process box to the glue point of the next process box. Notice that the line automatically docks itself to the glue point next to it. Next let us connect the process and decision box with the same type of connector. Continue connecting all the flowchart objects one below the other. Now from the drawing toolbar select the option Connector ends with arrow. From the first decision box, let us connect to the second process box. Click on the decision box glue point on the right side. Then move the cursor to the right glue point of the process box and click. The connector is drawn. Now click the middle handle on the connector and drag it to the right. This creates a three side squarish shaped connector. We can also add text to a connector. On the connector from the decision box to the process box, let's type no. So double click on the connector to see the text cursor. Let's type the text no. Then click anywhere else on the page. Again select the option connector ends with arrow. Let's do this once more on the left side for the other text chain box. We can also connect the objects using lines and arrows. But in this case, we should first group the objects. This is because arrows do not stay docked to objects. Let us now see how connectors are different from lines and arrows. In connectors, endpoints are automatically docked to the glue points of an object. Lines and arrows, on the other hand, do not dock automatically. Select all the objects. Click on Align icon on the standard toolbar. And then choose Centered option. All the objects will get aligned. Let us save the flowchart file and then close it. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, you have learned to draw flowcharts, connect flowcharts using connectors and glue points. Here is an assignment for you. Create the second part of the spoken tutorial flowchart. Color the process boxes and decision boxes. Draw a connector with the letter A. It should be the first object in this flowchart. 
The completed flowchart should look like this. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. We conduct workshops using spoken tutorials and give certificates. For more details, please contact us. Please post your timed queries in this forum. The Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by the Ministry of Education, Government of India. This tutorial was originally contributed by Desicru Solutions Private Limited in 2011. This tutorial is contributed by Nikita Missal and Madhuri Ganpati from IIT Bombay. Thank you for watching.